So next up on our daily checks is to drain the water from the fuel system primary filter or separator, which is this item here. Now the fuel filter separator, or the primary filter as we sometimes call it, is the first line of defence from the fuel tank before we get to the secondary filter and then the fuel system. We'll talk about the secondary fuel filter next because that's another part of the daily check. But before we get to that, we need to make sure we've drained off any water that's accumulated in this primary fuel separator. So why does water get in our fuel? Well, it's a natural occurrence, unfortunately. Uh, water in the fuel is bad because it will damage our fuel system, very expensive. So we need to make sure we remove it first. But as I say, it's a naturally occurring problem because typically a fuel tank, sometimes they're much larger than this, sometimes they're made out of some sort of metal, and, that, and they are susceptible to condensation. So we get condensation inside the tank, it ends up becoming uh, mixed with the fuel and we need to remove that before it gets to the engine. And the way we do that, we use um, something that's always to our advantage and that's the fact that oil or fuel um, separate nicely from water and you can see that if you've ever seen on the news uh, unfortunate oil tankers that have been in some sort of incident and they've spilled their oil out onto the sea and you'll notice that the oil always lays on the top of the water so if you think about oil is the same as air fuel air diesel fuel the oil will lay on the top so therefore the water's at the bottom so in our separator here we just use that naturally occurring phenomenon that the fuel will be at the top the water will be at the bottom so when the water's at the bottom We'll sh I'll show you a close-up in a moment, but you'll see there's a, a clear line of the difference between the water and the fuel. And all we have to do is drain off the water from the bottom until we have fuel coming out, then we're good to go. So, looking at this fuel pre-filter, you can quite clearly see the difference between the water at the bottom and the fuel on the top. It does help the fact that in the UK we have a, a red um, dye added to an off-highway diesel fuel. But it, it, the, the principle is the same, and you'll be able to see the same if you look on your pre-filter. If it hasn't got the dye, you can still quite clearly, clearly see the difference between the water on the bottom and the fuel on the top. And it's the water on the bottom we want to remove, which is nice and easy to do because there's a tap, as you can see on the bottom of the pre-filter. We just have to have something um, um, safe to drain that water off into till fuel starts to come out, and then we're good to go. Right then, got my sleeves rolled up, piece of cloth, that's actually my friend's old t-shirt, but he won't notice, <laughs> a little container just to put underneath the filter to catch any water and fuel that comes out, and I've put a piece of white paper at the back there just to make it easy to see the difference between the water and the fuel, and hopefully when I drain it out you'll, you'll see it disappear. Now, on this filter it's got a tap at the bottom, but it's also got some vents at the top. Now, not, not all of them do have these, but this particular one, it does make it a lot easier for the fluid to come out with a tap at the top open, on the vent open. I'm seeing it coming out. There's one last little puddle at the bottom coming out there. There's actually quite a lot in there. That's it. Turn that one up. Do this one up. Now you notice the fuel has dropped in the level of the fuel filter bowl. Don't worry too much about that, because on this engine it's got an electric fuel priming pump. So when we put the ignition on, that will just start priming away and refill the, the bowl with fuel. Um, some engines have a, 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 a sort of bulb or a plunger on top of the filter, either on this filter or the, the main fuel filter, which you just have to plunge a few times or squeeze a few times, and when it goes hard or stiff, that's when the fuel is back up to um, the required amount. So that's what you have to do with those, but this one, like I say, when the ignition goes on, that will fill up the air. So, the water fuel mixture which I've got here, we have to dispose of according to local regulations, nice and safely, but apart from that, we're good to go. So I thought it might be nice to see what happens when I put the ignition on and the transfer pump starts to operate, and you'll see that fuel filter refill with fuel. So it is a training engine, so I have to plug it into the power supply. On it goes, almost instantly the fuel refills in the fuel filter bowl as you can see there. Uh, so everything will be ready for the fuel system when it wants to start. 
So you probably wouldn't even notice that when you put the ignition on in the morning. You probably wouldn't even notice a delay when you went to start the engine up if you were waiting for the, the glow plugs to preheat for example that would have filled in the time it takes to do that and it would have started ordinarily as it would do in any other situation. Right so I've moved engines now just to show you the secondary fuel filter drain section of the daily checks. Um, I like this engine for demonstration purposes at least because both the fuel filters are visible quite easily. Uh, the previous engine although we could see the primary fuel filter quite clearly the secondary one is quite buried in the frame. Uh, the other thing to highlight on here is the difference in the appearance of the primary fuel filter. It's quite a lot bigger than the previous engine we showed you but you can also see that the, the idea is the same. The there's a clear bowl at the bottom. It perhaps doesn't look very clear in the camera because this is quite dark fuel. Um, but it's still got this drain at the bottom. It's still got this transparent bowl. And above that section is actually a filter as well. So it does the same job, just looks very different. But we're talking about a secondary fuel filter now, which on this engine is right next to it. Uh, we haven't got a clear bowl on the secondary fuel filter, but we should still be checking for any water that's got in there. It's got through the primary fuel filter, perhaps made its through, way through to the secondary. It's less likely to, but still a good principle to check it. Um, so again, I've got my little container and I've got my paper towel in case there's any spills. I'm just going to release that bottom tap until fuel starts to flow. And there we go, oh look at that, and that's so obvious straight away that that is nice clean fuel. So I'm going to close it straight back up. And then just a careful wipe to make sure there's no residual. And then with a clean piece of towel if we just check that all of the um, fuel that we've drained is not dripping anymore onto that towel so we haven't created any fuel leaks. There we go, so that's that one checked, all good. So please remember these videos are here to assist you. The safe source of information for any of these checks that we're doing are taken from the Operation and Maintenance Manual, which can be found as shown in the earlier video uh, on the Perkins website and you should always refer to this as your safe source of information.